The Café Village by the Sea and Other Poems by Hugh Wade Sydney is a city of villages. One particular village, a community alive with generosity and creativity, has inspired a novel approach to poetry from actor and poet Hugh Wade. The project's about um, both the visual aspect of poetry, seeing a text on a page and the way that the poet lays it out, plus the audio with the enhancement of the music. Hugh wanted to be able to share his dreams, observations and memories in a form that was more than just another slim volume of verse. Musician friends David Chambers and Denny Ball embraced the challenge of composing music for poems as short as 20 seconds and as long as four and a half minutes that conveyed a range of emotional moods. It was the day at Bronte uh -huh. and we tripped over each other on the cafe there and uh, had a cup of coffee uh -huh. and I liked Bronte. Anyway, Dave and I started talking about this venture, this thing with this Hugh bloke. We wanted to do some poetry and we, we talked about putting music to it. Um, have I done that before? No, I thought. So, sounded like a great idea. Then, of course, there's Larry, who no one quite believes. Though the stories say the same, his wallet has never been seen. Lounge Lizard Larry from LA. In musical terms, we look at lyrics and then put a tune to it, so we approach it in the same way as that, I think. In a particularly uh, emotional song, you're going to find a, a slower tune to fit it. Makes sense. And then you, you want to also have a variation in the, in the music for the, for the collection. So the Café Village has to be upbeat, has to sound like a beach kind of theme. Mm -hmm. Suddenly it's six o'clock and nobody's around. Happy holiday funsters have flown. Back to Vienna, Frankfurt, Dublin and Rome, Madrid, London, Rio and Bristol. It was very important that we picked up on what was the poem about and then musically just take it from there. Just the idea of marrying the lyrics with, with supportive music seemed to be something that wasn't really being done. And then when the three of us got together, the two musicians started playing, well, use a bit of this one and use that one. Uh, they did a fantastic job. You're a brave, kind, gentle man. I love you, Dad. Come for a barbie at my place soon, you slack old bugger. Lovely, lads. Nice performance yourself. Lovely. Another inspired contribution was literally just around the corner. Hugh's neighbour, artist Nick Hollow, provided the magnificent images of Bronte which graced the book cover and CD label. Remember when we first talked about this, Nick? And yes, I, said, I certainly can. <laughs> I said, have you got any pictures of the cafe or the beach or anywhere around the village? He said, well, no, I don't at the moment. I'll see what I can come up with. Well, we were both, in a way, exploring all the fantastic qualities of what this place is about. And I generally draw the light and the water, and your poems are very much about the experience and the social side of right, things. Yeah. So to show that the social in the context of this magic light and this magic ambience, yeah. it is the light. Oh yeah. yeah. So it was a whole new uh, area I could branch out into for, for drawing. That's the light. Thanks, Nick, for uh, being supportive and for giving me this wonderful picture. Well, thank you too, Hugh. It's a wonderful thing to be involved with. Thanks. Art, words, voice and music. The project had a shape and theme. The launch was about to begin. The creative cycle continued with friend and artist Matt Clugston adding his interpretation of Hugh's poetry. His series of fine drawings and sketches added yet another layer to the collaborative venture. Other artists, musicians and comedians also had the chance to showcase their talents. For those of you who are Catholics out there, we have that little thing called Lent. You know that Lent? We have to give up something you love for six weeks to show you love God. And when I was a kid, I thought, right, I'm going to be the best Catholic there is, so I gave up church for Lent. 
And the lesbians, I mean, sorry, the nuns were a little bit angry. Bronte local and state member for Coogee, Paul Pearce, officially launched the project. Now, I've actually thought that Hugh was just loitering at cafes most of the time, smoking cigarettes, drinking coffee, chatting and wondering exactly what he does every day. Um, <clears throat> however, what we actually find, he's a very creative man. So all that work, where he's sitting, where he's sitting there, where he's at the cafe, he's having his coffee, some cigarette, he's actually being creative. He is working. Do not be fooled by what you're seeing. <laughs> Bang, I formally launch... The Cafe Village by the Sea and Other Poems by Hugh Wade. Congratulations, Hugh. So here we go. This is called um, The Cafe Village by the Sea. Summer. In the Cafe Village by the Sea, angels live among us, held dear to my heart, spreading warmth and joy. As to the bouncy, smiling sirens flitting between the bays, from the admirals to the soldier poets, sharing comforts of a kind. Alas, their song no longer confounds adventurers, needless of earplugs or restraints, who sail past heedless of their languid tunes, intent on younger passing prey. On the sand and in the grassy park, polyglot maidens far from home looking for fun, browning their hypnotic tender roundness glistening blissfully in the torpid sun. Thank you all very much. I'm overwhelmed and flattered. Happily, Hugh's poetic vision had found a receptive audience.